In this episode, we are going to look at the process of posting a journal entry. Remember a journal entry created in the general journal. Um, this is the original book of entry into the accounting system. And the journal entry tells the accounting system what accounts need to be changed as a result of a transaction. So here we're looking at a transaction where the owner invested. When an owner invests cash into the business, the business's cash is increasing and the owner's capital is increasing. Cash is an asset. We are going to prepare a journal entry that shows that cash asset needs to be increased. Here we're seeing the date that the transaction occurred. And the first thing we will see is the account that needs to be debited. Cash is an asset. To increase it, we debit it. So we will list the debited account first. Cash needs to be debited $30,000 to increase it. After we list the debit account, then we will show the account being credited. Owner's capital needs to be credited because we need to increase owner's capital. This journal entry is full and complete. Here are the rules of journal entries. There needs to be the date that the transaction occurred. There will always be at least one account debited and at least one account credited. The accounts being debited are first, followed by the accounts being credited and indented so it's easy to see that that's the credit account. The debit and the credit amounts must equal. Total debits must equal total credits. Normally in practice below the journal entry is a little memo notation indicating why the journal entry is being recorded, a description of the transaction. Now that the journal entry is complete, we are telling the system what needs to change. The only way we actually cause the account balances to change is to post them to the general ledger. Remember the ledger is the filing cabinet where all of the account records are maintained. Our journal entry tells us that we need to debit the cash account for $30,000. We will go to the ledger, find the cash account record. It has the account number 101 assigned to it. On the date, we will record that debit. December 1st was the date of that transaction. We are debiting the cash account $30,000. We are posting the debit from the journal to the ledger. We are going to put a post reference here. It's a reference to where this posting came from. It came from the general journal on page one. That debit of $30,000 Remember, debits increase assets. That means that we need to update the balance for a debit, which increases the cash account. So after that transaction was posted to the cash account in the ledger, cash now has a balance of $30,000. The final step is to post reference back to the general journal. That debit of $30,000 has been posted to account 101, the cash account, in the general ledger. We have a post reference going two ways. A post reference in the ledger to show where the debit came from, general journal page one, and a post reference in the general journal showing where that debit was posted in the ledger. It was posted to account 101. This journal posting process is now complete. We have posted the debit to the appropriate account in the ledger, causing that account to change. The next step would be to then go and post the next line item in the general journal. 